In a tale that resonates with the essence of strategic mastery, let's explore the story of a young chess prodigy, small for his age and timid in demeanor, who found himself the target of a schoolyard bully. This bully, twice the chess player's size, delighted in tormenting him, confident in his physical superiority. One day, he challenged the chess player to a fight, certain of a swift and humiliating victory. However, the chess player, though afraid, surprised everyone by agreeing to the challenge, but on one condition, they would play a game of chess, and the loser would have to obey the winner for a month. The bully, arrogant and dismissive of the challenge, readily accepted, certain of his victory in both arenas. To his surprise, the bully was utterly defeated in the chess match. Humiliated and bound by his word, he found himself at the chess player's beck and call for the next month. This unlikely victory, achieved not through physical prowess, but through strategic intelligence, became legendary in the school. The chess player, forever after, was free from harassment, his reputation as a strategic mastermind preceding him. This incident became a powerful lesson, revealing a profound truth. True power lies not in physical dominance, but in the ability to outmaneuver your opponent without engaging in direct conflict. This story exemplifies the core message of this essay, mastering the art of winning without a fight. The first and most fundamental principle of winning without a fight is the art of strategic avoidance. This does not equate to cowardice or weakness. Instead, it represents a calculated decision to conserve your energy for battles that truly matter. Recognize that not every fight deserves your attention. Engaging in every petty argument or responding to every provocation only depletes your resources and distracts you from your larger goals. The key is to discern between battles worth fighting and those best left ignored. This discerning ability separates the strategic individual from the reactive one, the one who ultimately dictates the terms of engagement. Like a seasoned general choosing his battlefields carefully, you must learn to conserve your energy for the conflicts that truly matter, the ones that hold the potential to reshape the landscape of your life. In the face of aggression or provocation, silence can be your most powerful weapon. While it may seem counterintuitive, choosing not to react can often disarm your opponent more effectively than any retort. Silence, when employed strategically, can be misinterpreted as agreement fear, or indifference, each working to your advantage depending on the situation. It keeps your opponent guessing, throws them off balance, and allows you to maintain an air of calm and composure. This calculated silence, however, should not be mistaken for weakness. It is a calculated tactic, a means to observe, analyze, and strategize your next move while your opponent exhausts their energy in their own clamor. Remember, sometimes the most powerful statements are made in the absence of words. Turning the other cheek, often misconstrued as a sign of weakness or submission, can be a powerful tool for indirect engagement. When you choose not to retaliate with aggression, you deny your opponent the satisfaction of an immediate victory. This unexpected response can disarm them, forcing them to reconsider their approach. Their aggression loses its intended target, their energy dissipates, and they are left to grapple with the unexpected void of your reaction. Furthermore, by refusing to engage on their terms, you retain the moral high ground, potentially garnering sympathy and support from observers. This approach, however, requires careful calibration. It's not about becoming a doormat, but about choosing your battles wisely and responding strategically. Conceding to minor points, even when you believe you are in the right, can be a strategic masterstroke. This act of calculated generosity can disarm your opponent making them more receptive to your position on issues of greater importance. By appearing reasonable and willing to compromise, you create an atmosphere of cooperation rather than conflict. This can lead to a more productive exchange, where both parties feel heard and respected. Remember, winning every battle is not the goal. Achieving the desired outcome is. Sometimes making strategic concessions can clear the path to a more favorable resolution in the long run. This approach requires a subtle shift in perspective, from the immediate gratification of winning an argument to the long-term strategic advantage of achieving your goals. Humor, often underestimated as a tool of influence, can be incredibly effective in diffusing tense situations and redirecting conflict. A well-timed joke or a witty remark can break the tension, disarm your opponent, 
and shift the energy of an interaction. Humor allows you to make your point without resorting to direct confrontation, making your message more palatable and less likely to be met with resistance. However, humor in these situations should be wielded with finesse and discretion. Avoid sarcasm or mockery, which can further escalate the conflict. Instead, opt for self-deprecating humor or witty observations that lighten the mood without targeting or belittling the other party. Section 7. Negotiation, the Subtle Battlefield Negotiation, the art of reaching agreements through dialogue and compromise, is a cornerstone of winning without a fight. It involves understanding your opponent's motivations, identifying areas of common ground, and working collaboratively towards a mutually beneficial solution. Effective negotiation requires active listening, empathy, and the ability to see the situation from multiple perspectives. It's not about imposing your will, but about finding a solution that addresses the needs and concerns of all parties involved. Remember, the goal of negotiation is not to win, but to arrive at a resolution that moves everyone forward. This often involves finding creative solutions, exploring alternative options, and being willing to compromise on less critical issues. Section 8. The Long Game Patience and Time as Allies In the pursuit of winning without a fight, patience and time are your greatest allies. Understand that not all battles are won overnight. Sometimes the most effective strategy involves playing the long game, allowing time to work its magic. This may involve strategically biding your time, gathering information, and waiting for the opportune moment to act. It requires a certain level of self-control and discipline, resisting the urge to react impulsively or force a premature resolution. Remember, time can shift power dynamics, create new opportunities, and reveal unforeseen weaknesses in your opponent's position. By exercising patience, you allow these factors to work in your favor, increasing your chances of achieving a favorable outcome without resorting to direct confrontation. Section 9. The Ripple Effect of Indirect Action The true power of winning without a fight lies in its ripple effect. When you consistently employ these strategies, you create a reputation for yourself as a strategic thinker, a master of persuasion, and a formidable opponent, even in your absence. People will learn that confronting you directly is not a wise course of action, that you are not easily manipulated or provoked. This reputation becomes your armor, deterring potential aggressors and attracting allies who appreciate your measured and strategic approach. This ripple effect extends beyond your immediate circle, influencing the way people perceive you and interact with you in various aspects of life. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy where your reputation as a strategic and diplomatic individual attracts more opportunities for collaboration and peaceful resolution. Section 10. Embrace the undefeated, the power of letting go. The ultimate victory in mastering the art of winning without a fight lies in learning to let go. It's about recognizing that true strength lies not in winning every battle, but in choosing which battles to fight and how to fight them. It's about letting go of the need to prove yourself, to always be right, or to dominate every interaction. This requires a certain level of self-awareness and emotional maturity, a willingness to step back from the ego's need for validation. When you can detach yourself from the outcome, you free yourself from the fear of losing. This detachment allows you to approach conflicts with clarity, composure, and a focus on finding the most strategic and harmonious resolution. Remember, the greatest victory is often achieved not through force, but through the subtle art of influence, persuasion, and the wisdom to choose your battles wisely. Be wise and powerful, and subscribe to get your next lesson.